Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I think it's quite pretty. To make this card I used a new stamp set, <coughs> Playful Penguins. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I used this image, this penguin, that penguin, the scarf and the sentiment Merry Wishes. Uh, yeah, that's all I used for that. On the inside I used a retired one, Snowflake Sentiments, and I used this sentiment, wishing you a season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all a wonderful year. And I also used Lovely as a Tree, and we'll be using that image, which I never got out, but it's out. Right, the cardstock I'm using is a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half, and burnished. I've got a light and navy um, piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to sit on the front. I have a white piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to sit on the inside. I have a scrap of white, I've got two scraps of white actually, for the penguins, which I haven't done, so we need to um, stamp and cut them out. Also some scraps, big scrap, for the scarves. And I've also got this piece of uh, designer series paper. Now it's really old. Again, the voice gave me a load of retired papers, so I'm using them. I think this is from Oh So Eclectic. I might be wrong, I'm not sure. But we're going to be using this one. Snow and the sky at night. So... Let's get started with the stamping. I need that, that and that. I don't need them. First of all, we'll stamp the penguins so they can dry. Well, for me to cut them out. And I'm going to stamp them in basic grey. And just stamp in there. One. I'll clean it up in a minute. And that's two. So I put them to one side to dry. Put them at the side of me. Now we need in grey, nothing else. What we need is the black and this bit and a bit of scrap and our lovely as a tree. And what we're going to do is ink up the trees. And Stamp them, stamp them, stamp them. So we've got a pile of trees on there. And that's all we're going to do there. You're going to say, them trees are different. Yes, they are different. That's because I made this card, that crop, and I didn't take my lovely as a tree, so I borrowed this tree stamp from somebody and of course when I get home I don't have the same trees so I am um, use lovely as a tree right now then we need to stamp the sentiment or Mr Wishes Oh, 
merriest of wishes, not warmest of wishes. So that goes that way. We just put that in the bottom left hand corner. Just like that. Right, I'll put that to one side to dry. And now we need to bring in this bit, don't need this anymore. To stamp the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that. Just there. I've got a funny feeling it's upside down. That's not but it's not very straight. That's better. So that's that one done. Now we need to stamp the scarves. So I have got mint macaron and real red and I'm going to be using old olive and cherry cobbler. So we'll do the cherry cobbler first and just stamp that there. And then the old olive. One here. And stop that there. Alright. That is all I've We've got one little bit of stamping to do, which is the shadow underneath the penguins, but I can't do that until. Um, the penguins are ready to go down then I'll know where I'm going to place them right now we have to cut everything out and let's see if I can remember to cut out on camera and not take it out of you right I'm not leaving any borders on this I am just cutting it all out just following it it's a bit hard to cut out when you haven't got it close to you This one. Get rid of that. I bet if I looked hard enough, I would have found a smaller bit of scrap red. the two scarves done. Get rid of them. And let's cut out these penguins. Now with these I did leave a little border.
quite surprised I didn't bring dies out of these. Mind you, they are easy enough to cut out. Not as if you've got a lot of um, delicate cutting to do. He didn't take long to cut out. Now we have a penguin. Right, just cut this one out. I wasn't too keen on these penguins when I first saw them in the catalogue. It was when I seen somebody use it. Who did I see use it first? Oh, Linda Hanford. She made these lovely tags with them. Um, she's got a YouTube channel, uh, Stamping by the Beach. Who lives just up the road from me in West Mersey. Yeah, she made these lovely tags and I thought, oh, they're quite nice. I think I'll get that set. Then I went on Pinterest and seen this card on Pinterest. But I don't know if she used this paper or not. I don't know if she sponged it, but I seen the paper and I thought I'll use that. So there is the two penguins and the two scarves. Right, the scarves I actually glued down on the penguins. So one went up there and this one on there. So we'll glue them on. Bit too much glue there. Oh. Fit this on his neck. And put his scarf on. I'm assuming they're hymns. I'm calling them him. And these, oh, I need that, went on dimensionals. Right, uh, only one of them left. 
I use all these now to bits. It's not want not as I say. Um, that was too big for his foot. No. I need a small dimensional. And a little on each on the feet. Now we will put this card together. Let's stick this inside first. I didn't cut that down then. Stick that on the night and navy. got to do. Right, we're going to put them there and I shouldn't have put that on there. Like that. So we want the shadow bit and that's what this stamp is. One to go there so he's standing on that and the other one to go there in fact let's do an extra bit just so it's over a bit, that's it. Good. Get rid of the glue. Put the lid on it, which is no good. It's got a hole in the top. Ordered some smaller bottles with the fine tip on the end, which I thought would be better for me. Oh, 
but we'll see how we get on. I have got another bottle. Mm, forgot about that. Right, let's put a little bit of glue on his arm. Right, the next thing we need to do is add some snow. And I need... Oh, hang on, I need some white, white ink. Got that. And an aqua pen. Let's see if I've got all my some water in it. Yeah. So I'm going to ink up this block. Should have done this before I put the penguins on. Make up a watery solution, too much water. And just flick on some snow. water not enough water not enough snow let's try it with this slowly going on You see that? You might not be able to yet. You know, she'll be thinking I'm making a right mess. This is what my right mess is making, some lovely snow. And all I did was add water and some white craft ink and a brush. So and there we have one, I need to clean that, one card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And um, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.